everybody? Hello. Hello, hi, hello. 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 Lots of rain last night. Lots of rain today. Thank you. Fit check. Thank you. I thrifted this. Fun and fresh. These pants are a little much. I did not want to climb up to my lock chain. I would have worn blue jeans, but I didn't want to climb up there. So this is what it is today. Lots of rain. Yeah, I am up for 30 months. Jakob Gaspacho, Kogai, Vanessa, part-time pigeon, Mexi. Thank you guys for the subs. Hello, guys. Welcome to the. Paula. Paula. Howdy. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I'm under a tornado watch today. I'm scared. Yeah. Well, the wind earlier was nuts. You can watch it on the Alvarez cams in the. Uh, in the, on the pasture cam, the wind is crazy. The, uh, the rain is on and off kind of crazy. So we will see how it goes today. Much, much wind and rain. Um, we're doing meal prep today. How's your shins? Oh, God. I told y'all it hurt. Not that anyone didn't believe me, but... Ouch, you know? Experiment on a cyborg. Thank you. Um, I bet five subs you won't have shin guards next stream. Uh, Iris, thank you for the sub. Uh, I am borrowing boyfriend shin guards for the next stream. Because I'm not doing that again. Just gifted five tier one subs. The what now? B K S T N R. Thank you for the five gifted subs. Oh, wow. Hello. C Mackey, thank you. Space, if you're listening right now, can you remind me? This my activity feed doesn't show gifted subs. I have to swipe wow. for it, and there's no way that's not possible months. to make it show them. And it's not a filter thing. I I don't think it's that simple. RZHron, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, is it Ray's birthday? No, the Elvis calendar. No. I forgot it. It's Ray's birthday. Happy birthday, Valky Ray. I will message her. Happy birthday. Birthday, birthday. Okay. Cool. Is this live? Is this live? <laughs> yes. I just put up my Alvarez calendar yesterday. I love it. Dude, I'm really sad I haven't put it up. Did you try the aloe already? I tried it once. Yes. I don't know. Uh, I mean, it felt nice. It was fine. I don't, I don't know. I don't know how much it helped, but it was good. It's dark in here. It's a little better, perhaps. It's just gloomy because it's so cloudy outside. Um, today is Monday. You know what that means. It's the start to the week. Monday is the best day. Um... Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 12 o'clock, CT. Here we are. It's Monday, it's 12 o'clock. Time for stream. Wednesday, 12 o'clock. Time for stream, kick flipping. I am actually definitely gonna kick flip this Wednesday. Friday, 12 o'clock, stream. Did you guys see Jason texted me? Did you see my tweet? He's a hater. He is a hater. 
but that's okay. Who's Jason? My eighth grade boyfriend who broke up with me when he went to band camp. He texted me, he, he looked through my, my kickflip stream, and he's like, you're bad. Which is funny, because actually, I think he is the person that taught me how to ride a skateboard. I think, I think. I bet he is. So actually, this is his fault. But I might be getting him mixed up with another boyfriend, which would probably make him even more upset. <laughs> I don't remember. It's been a long time. Um, so anyway. Uh, someone asked how vegan month is going. It's, uh, fine. It's fine. The, when you're eating yourself at home, like if you're, if you're cooking for yourself, being vegan is so easy. I'm just going to say it. It's not, I don't think that it's cheaper. Uh, I'll, I don't think it's cheaper, but it is so easy. What's hard is when you go out or you're like out and about doing errands and you're like, you need to like pick up lunch. That shit sucks. I'm going to be honest. There's, it's like really hard to find food when you're out and about unless you live in LA probably like you can't just drive through somewhere and get food even McDonald's fries wow. and McDonald's Mary hash browns Mary Alice thank you for the 15 months look it's probably a good thing that I don't go to McDonald's that often but uh I wanted to go get McDonald's breakfast one morning and I was like surely I can get hash browns no wow. <laughs> Leonard thank you they put like beef seasoning on their french fries and hash browns. So I was like, surely I can get hash browns? No. Surely I can get french fries? No. Uh, surely I can get, no. Uh, all you can get at McDonald's if you're vegan? Corbin, thank you for gifting. All, all you can eat going out if you're vegan at McDonald's is uh, a plain English muffin with nothing on it. Or, or you could put jelly on it, actually, if you ask for jelly, if they have that. Or uh, you can get uh, fruit and maple oatmeal, but you have to ask them to make it with water and not dairy. They have a McPlant burger, not at most locations. Or not at every location, definitely not the ones here. So, yeah. So I haven't been McDonald's since I've been vegan. Thank you for the five months. I'm talking about McDonald's breakfast. I don't know their whole menu, guys. All right, I'm not. This, I don't know. I don't. I don't know these things. I'm sorry. Um, we have a whole vegan menu here. That's sick. Uh, I did go to a vegan restaurant last night. Um, or I went to a sushi restaurant. They have vegan sushi. I ordered the wrong thing. I. I wanted to order one roll, and then for some reason I just said the name of another. So it's not like they gave me the wrong thing. I asked for the wrong thing. Don't really know how that happened. But I ended up getting this vegan sushi roll, and it was brown rice, and it had a uh, fried sweet potato in it and asparagus. And, like, sun-dried tomatoes on top of it. It was so... It was not bad, but it didn't taste like sushi at all. I was very confused, and I was like, man, I really messed this up. So that wasn't great. Don Fwag, thank you for the 34 months. Pyro, thank you for the five months. Um, yeah, no, it was, it was not great sounding. It was not great sounding. What did you want to get? I was going to get something. It was uh, plant-based tuna, which I think is tomato marinated. I'm not sure. I wanted to know. But I fricked it up. So. Kate, thank you for the tier one. Spence. Thank you. So anyway, you guys want to see my grocery haul? Number one, tortillas. These are vegan. Butter tortillas are not. Duh. They have butter on them. Spinach. Bread. I didn't get to go to the farmer's market this week because I was filming on Saturday. We got a new TikTok editor for Alveus. Mangoes. So now I have film on, film on Saturdays. Oh no, I squished my peach. Peach. It was kind of hard to find bread, like bread that's not, that is vegan. 
Most bread has milk in it, or it says like contains milk. Um, this one says contains wheat and sesame. Flours, millet, potato flour, quinoa flour, canola oil, vinegar, cherry powder, okay, sesame flour, I don't know. So I guess that's fine. That is all. These are reusable bags, but they're also are plastic. Oh, big news. I got me an ice tray for those freaking smoothies because I have been <laughs> trying this past week. I did eat all the frozen fruit that I prepped for myself. But when I tell you I was sitting here like cussing myself out for freezing them all together. Mm -mm. I ate it all, but I had to stab it with a knife to try to get it out. It was so annoying. Um, so I got this. It's an ice cube tray, but they're pretty big and uh, they're silicone. So you can like pop them out. Excellent. Smoothie cubes, big time. Big time. Exciting development, gnocchi. Potato gnocchi, vegan. Yep, potatoes, great. Um, contains wheat. Wheat flour, potato starch, potato puree, cooking salt, citric acid, rice flour. Additionally, Potatoes. Pasta. Lots of dried pasta is vegan. Doesn't have eggs in it. Big time. Vegan cheese, vegan cheese. I've tried this one. I like it. It doesn't melt right, but it tastes good. There's nothing good for you in it, but it's cheese. Vegan cheese. Have not tried this one. American cheese. I would like a grilled cheese. That's what I've been wanting. I'm going to make it with vegan cheese. I don't know. Banan. And then I also have these from last week that I bought from the farmer's market that I did not cook. So I'm going to make Brussels sprouts. That's my grocery haul for the week. Guess how much it was. $51. Better call Gorkin. Uh, Onizak, thank you for the subs. It was $51. It was pretty good. We'll take it. We'll take it. We'll take it. So, the plan is simple. 300 bits. I tried the milk this week over my usual oat milk and it's so good. Yay! I'm glad you like it. I really like it too. Uh, so the plan for this week, prep uh, smoothie cubes, um, make Brussels sprouts and mashed potatoes together. I, I know usually there's like a meat component in there. Admittedly, this meal has like no protein in it. Uh, but my smoothies in the morning have 31 grams of protein. I will survive. Um, and then gnocchi with my vegan lentil red sauce that I froze from like a couple weeks ago when I did a cooking stream. That's the plan. What do you think? Thank you for the two months. Should I make a grilled cheese? I'm most interested in the grilled cheese. What are the tortillas for? Uh, I don't know. I guess like quesadillas with cheese or um, Lindsay kind of put me on tortillas with peanut butter and banana in them. So I keep peanut butter and banana at my desk in the studio uh, and I'll eat that if I'm, if I don't have uh, other stuff, you know? I'm gonna make a grilled cheese. I thought you said that was weird. I thought it was, but it actually is pretty good. I can make a grilled cheese with my stupid little George Foreman. What do you think? Do I need to put... 
Yeah, I should put butter on the bread. Thank you for the three months. Yeah, the aloe turned out fine. Okay, I'm gonna butter that bread and I'm gonna open the cheese and I'm gonna put it in the grilled cheese maker and I'm gonna have grilled cheese. Heavyweight boxing champ. This bread is not very soft. Which is weird because I just, I've never had this brand of bread, but I just opened it and I'm kind of like, I'm a little sketched out. Did I really do that? Did I just see what I thought I saw? Wow, that's crazy. That's very interesting. I put, this is my last smoothie cube. I put it in the fridge. I don't know why I did that. Base cam, da boom. Naughty Hawk, thank you for the two gifted subs. Stores, thank you for the five gifted subs. Thank you, thank you. Stores. I don't know why I put that in the fridge. Oh, wow. Raytheon technology is subbed for the first time. An anonymous user gifted a tier one sub to Raytheon Technologies. Thank you. Guys, how are your lives? Do you have any drama to share with me this week? Of your own lives, not other people's lives? Online, that's not what I'm asking. I'm asking if you have any personal drama that you would like to share anonymously through your username. No drama this week? I just got banned. Well, what'd you do? The week is young. Any drama over the weekend? Yes, drama. Lots of personal drama. Oh, no. Work sucks. My boss and coworkers are annoying 97% of the time. My dentist fucked up my implants, and I have to wait a year before getting a tooth. I think someone switched one of our recycling cans to regular trash. My whole family went to the ER. Oh. My sister is having a fundraiser. My brother's bringing his college girlfriend that he just got back together with. She's very much lots of drama. I had to pull a foot of yarn out of my kitten's throat. My friend got arrested. One of my family members was stealing money from his elderly mom. Timothy Chalamet kissed Kylie Jenner at the... Yeah, all right, that's not... See, that's not your drama. That's not what I asked for. I don't care what happened with them. My brother stole 3K from my parents. For what? What's he going to use it for? No, not your cheese. Dude, I can't get this cheese out. Coco winning resupped for seven months. Happy meal prep Monday. Happy meal prep Monday. Making a vegan lentil sweet potato stew this week, Maya Heel. Cool. Fun, fresh, exciting. That cheese is looking a little stiff. Actually, it's pretty much what American cheese looks like, I'm afraid. <laughs> Good luck. Hey, Guys, wow. if you had... Oh, no. Um, guys, if you had an extra $3,000 that you stole from your parents, but don't worry about that part, what would you use it for? Drugs. Rent. Donate it. Drugs. 
computer, save it, tier three sub, motorcycle, shoes, fix my car, rent, bills, rug thrifting, okay, Legos, Gamba, kickflip lessons, credit card payment, trip wow. to the U.S. Echo sub for the first time. Gifted Corbett, thanks for gifting. They have given 141 gift subs in the channel. Interesting, interesting. Property taxes. All right. Can I tell you guys about my new business venture? Wow. Oh, shit. That happened really fast. I think he's done. Oh, um... Bad news. Nothing is happening to the cheese. I'm gonna leave it in there longer. Nothing is happening to the cheese right now. Which, it's vegan cheese, so you never know, but I'm a little concerned that it's not going to melt at all. Wow. Alright, I gotta take it out. What? Why isn't anything happening to the cheese? Wow. Call Anna Sub for the first time. Cupcakes gifted a tier one sub to call Anna. Maybe it'll t Ow! Maybe it'll taste good. It tastes like a grilled cheese, actually. Yeah, it's pretty good. Mmm. I wish it was melty. If not, what are you gonna do? You guys wanna hear about my new uh, business venture? I have started an Etsy store. Because I am a crafty gal. And I like making crafts, but I don't like making crafts if I feel like I'm wasting time and I'm just making junk for myself that sits on a shelf. But I also want to make whatever I want. For example, hermit crab ornament. I made this smile with felt and I, I uh, embroidered the little rocks on. It's got little leaves. This I put on my Etsy store. Somebody bought it. These guys. Wow. Bangle 29 resubbed for six months. Hey Maya, watch your fixing. Go cheese. These are the beginning of my crochet journey. The store is called, you know, it's just as hard to find as my Twitch channel and my legal name. It's called Maya Higa. Believe it or not, both of these items, I was trying to make the exact same thing. In crocheting, but it was the beginning of my crochet journey. It, what? Who's calling me? 
<gasps> I'm not getting called. You guys are favoriting my Etsy store. <laughs> it was like, bzz, 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 bzz. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Um, I was trying to make a ball, okay? But <laughs> I was trying to make a ball. A, B, and Shelbs, thank you. I was trying to make a ball, but I don't, I like miscounted stitches on this so that it got this weird bulb at the top. And then I was like, this looks like garlic. So then I, I glued eyes on it and now it's garlic. I was very transparent. It's fucked up because I'm like, look at this, look at the back. But like someone bought it and I put it, I disclosed it in the thing. All right. I was like, this is fucked up. Whatever. Somebody wants it. it. Looks like a little soup dumpling. It looks like a little bow. Sure, whatever you want them to be. The happy garlic. This is a happy pickle. I was trying to make a ball, but I kept forgetting to add a stitch. So it just kept going up instead of out. <laughs> so I made it a pickle instead. Um, I painted this the other day. He's cute. I used acrylic paint. He's cute, just like a little happy cat. What do you think? Little flowers. I've had this frame forever sitting in my craft drawer and I was like, I should use this frame. So I made this. This is my pride and joy. And I think it's the only thing that's still for sale, available in the shop. Look at this. First of all, I thrifted this jar. It's sold. Oh my God, congratulations. Um, let me tell you something. I told my dad about this idea and he was like, Maya, that's dumb. He was like, that's a waste of time. And he was like, you're not gonna make any money. Look at this. All these people have favored in my Etsy store, damn it. I'm gonna be rich. Okay, um, anyway, I made, I thrifted this jar and I made this little um, bug. It's modeled after a blue mint beetle. I made them out of polymer clay. I made the rocks out of polymer clay too. Um, and then I put iridescent nail, like chrome nail polish on it. So it uh, shines like a beetle. I don't know if you can really tell because the reflection of the jar, but he's in there and he's got a little pine cone and some other stuff. Yeah, and he's shiny and sparkly and cool. So, yeah. The fun thing about this Etsy store is that I can make, like I would never make this, for example, uh, without this store because I don't wanna just make a bunch of random stuff for myself. Um. But I've been reading about hermit crabs lately and I think they're really cute. And I was like, I'm gonna make a hermit crab. Um, so now I can make whatever I want and not feel bad about it. How do you find time for everything? Dude. I work like nine or 10 to like six, seven, I don't know. And then I come home and then I eat dinner and then I sit down and I put a show on and I craft until like 11. Mm, mm, mm. I have a great time though. I love it. I'm a crafty little bitch. Oh, also, there's another thing on my Etsy store that I forgot to bring up here that has not sold. Or maybe it has now, I don't know. It's a headband, but I made it way too thick. It's like this thick. It's like this thick. And it's like, it's like a rainbow, like a pastel rainbow headband. And it's to put around your ears. It'll keep you really warm. It's on there if someone wants it. Otherwise, I'll keep it. Because I've worn that before. I hope that doesn't bother you. I have worn it. Gremlo, thank you for the raid. Hello. 
Anyway, that's my Etsy store. Thank you for following. If you want to link it, you can. It's just my Higa. It's my profile picture. The store description, I feel like, makes it obvious that it's really me. The only thing that bothers me is you have no belly button. Zombie, listen to me. What if I actually didn't and I was self-conscious about it? Asshole. I do have a belly button. But what if you just ruined my day? You ever think about that? What's the point? Why does it affect you that you can't see my belly button right now? He said sorry. It's okay. That was just a hypothetical. I do have a belly button. And I don't feel sad. I just wanted to tell you. That that's something that could happen. Dude, this is crazy. Someone clipped this and sent it to my dad. Okay, it slowed down quite a bit since I took it out of my pocket. Oh. Oh. Take that! Dad? Anyway, I will continue crafting and I will continue putting things on Etsy. I don't know what favoriting the store does, but, um, maybe you could see when I put stuff on there. Anyway, that's my new business venture. I'm having a lot of fun with it. I linked you the ogre clip during your skateboard stream and made you tens of thousands of views. You're welcome. You think I'm going to say thank you for putting me on that God forbidden? You think I'm, you think you, you made me. Thank you. Mod, he self-reported. Wait, no, he didn't. No, he didn't. I take it back. Sorry. He's just the one that linked the clip. He's not the one that posted it. I take it back. Jeff! I have a bone to pick with you, buddy. Have you considered the fact that it's been like four months since we've been to Dirty Six? Have you thought about that recently? Because wow. I, thought, I thought about that last night. Didn't someone just get shot there recently? Probably. It's a gamble, truly. People get shot and stabbed there, actually, People quite a bit. I ate it. I wonder what the, wait. I'm sure this is like not good for you at all and there's nothing good in it, but. Yeah, it has zero grams of protein. 60 calories. So I just did 120 calories in cheese. Four grams saturated fat, 180 milligrams of sodium. Four grams of carbs. It's bad for you. But so is the grilled cheese. Have you had a drink or two? 
It's not even 1 p.m. No. All right, party people. I don't care what you say. I'm not washing this. I am going to rinse it out. It's brand new, but I'm not going to wash it. And if you have a problem with that, you can take it up with the big man upstairs. I'm sure he's concerned with that. Just as concerned as you are. There's a man upstairs. <laughs> Go check. All right. Um, I need, let's see. I also need a frozen banana in each of these. How should I do that? Because these are not very big. Like, I feel like I do mango peach in here, but then I do a whole frozen banana. Should I put frozen bananas like, I don't know. How should I do frozen bananas? Should I do parchment paper? Or maybe I just, ooh, wait. Maybe I can just put them in here and have them not touch each other. Is that stupid? I feel like that'll be fine. You sold Minty for only $35? <laughs> Minty, I'm sorry. <laughs> Why, is that not enough? My goal with the Etsy store is to cover my expenses of buying crafting stuff, because I spend a lot on crafty crafting things. I also really attached to this guy, so I'm really sad about him leaving. Um, but I felt like $35 was fine. Look. Look how cute he is. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, he's so cute. Let me show you. $35. See, at least somebody's mad. I could have sold him for $40. Damn it. I miss. Look at, look at this. See, he shifts. Isn't that cool? Isn't it cool? Yay. Study time. Thank you for the raid. Hi. I'm prepping smoothie bowls right now. That's worth $60? I don't think so. I don't think that's worth $60. I'll consider, I'll consider my prices, but I feel fine about that, personally. Alexa! Oh, she, I unplugged her. Thank you for the 11 months. All right, give her a second to wake up. Okay, I'm gonna do three bananas because I only do one banana per smoothie. I feel like prepping three smoothies is fine for now. Or, 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 I did get a lot of bananas this week. Maybe I do five and I put a piece of parchment over. Let's do that. Let's do five. Let's do five. Compost. Parchment, parchment. Beep, 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 beep. <clears throat> 
parchment. More banana. Bananas will come apart easily. No need for parchment. I disagree. People Respectfully. Thank you for the 34 months. Too easy. This peach got really squished in the bag. That's okay. How's your hand injury looking? What? Did I hurt my hand? I don't recall hurting my hand. Earlier in the street. Oh, it's fine. I just hit my nail. <laughs> That's all. I'm leaving the skin on the peach because I'm not peeling it. <laughs> that's, that's why. It's for next skateboarding stream. I, yeah. Um, I don't know. I, feel, I actually might need to like watch some videos tomorrow or something. Because I feel like I'm just going to get nowhere. Or I could like spend some action it depends how serious i want to be i could spend some more time like why isn't this coming apart this guy does not want to come off the pit or i could do an ollie perhaps I don't know. Big knife. You know, I don't like cutting anything with small knives. I pretty much, I don't know if you've noticed. Why is this a white one People and this is wow. a yellow one? I took them out of the same place. Excuse me. Excuse you, actually. Um... I think someone scammed me and put a white peach in with the yellow peaches. Or, oh, wait, I bought white peaches? They put two, a yellow one? I don't care anymore. Doesn't really matter. Anyway. Look, it's bleeding. Ah! <laughs> no, I'm banned. Please. All right. Peach bit. One, two, peaches, peach, peach, peach. I may have overestimated the cube capacity I'm working with here. It's not looking great. Alexa, play copyright free jazz. Software, copyright free lo-fi slash Evil version by Poppy Six. I don't want the evil. She always plays the evil version. You like jazz? Have you guys ever seen the movie Ants with a Z? <laughs> okay, I put it on the other day while I was making. Uh, 
Minty. And I wasn't paying attention because I was focused on Minty. But every time I looked up, I was like, this movie's crazy. <laughs> Came out at the same time as Bugs Life. That's bizarre. Never heard of it. it apparently, okay, spoilers. Um, from my understanding, there's an ant who's like a worker ant or something. And like the princess only wants a soldier ant. So then he uh, trades places with his friend so he can go be a soldier ant. And then he's really unlucky. And the day he trades places, they go to war. <laughs> with like the termites and so he's like, what? And then he has to go to war. <laughs> but then he becomes a war hero, yay! Peach. Why is Bugs Life and Ants so political? Are either of those political? How much did the groceries cost? $51. This mango is far more ripe than the last mango I acquired for smoothie making. You guys all need to fit in here, do you understand? Excellent. They get it. My sister's in Ghana right now. She's having a great time. Is she single? No. She also wouldn't like you, and statistics will argue. Um, she lived in Ghana for a year. She worked for a nonprofit, um, and now she's back there visiting her friends. single <laughs> no I'm not sorry I was gonna make a bad joke <sighs> in game ow I just smacked myself with a knife did you see that why did I do that that was crazy Do you guys know I went on a date with someone once? That's all. <laughs> Did I tell you guys that I went on a date with someone once and in making like small talk and whatever, I asked if he had ever been arrested and he said, in game? <laughs> and I was like, mm, no. <laughs> Ooh. 
We're still friends though. It's fine. It's cool. It's funny. I don't believe that. Swear to God. It was funny. Is the food vegan? No, unfortunately this mango- yes. Sorry. I gotta relax. I don't know what's going on with me today. How's the vegan thing going? It's fine. Um, being vegan at home, easy peasy. Being vegan out in the world, not as easy peasy. Fine, but not as easy peasy. Hammy, what the fuck, bro? I'm only addressing that, D Hammy. If I didn't, it, dude. No, don't say stuff like that. This is a good mango, what the heck? You guys don't eat mango skin? Mango skin is toxic? Maybe. You're just weak. I've been eating mango skin since I was a kid. So I feel fine about it personally. Maybe that's what's wrong with me. You guys heard stories about hormonal birth control? <laughs> about hormonal birth control ruining your life? Hormonal birth control ruins your life. I have been taking a birth control pill every day since I was 16 years old. People are starting to think that's not good for you. <laughs> and it, it can't be. There's just no way that that's, that that's good for you. <laughs> there's, there's no way. Um, so I guess I need to research alternate methods of birth control. I should have started, I'm dumb as hell. I should have started boiling these potatoes. How does this work? Okay. I don't think I really needed to slide it. Here they are! In they go. Moody cubes! That's actually exciting. If that works as well as I'm ex anticipating, it's gonna be sick. Um, I was the most unhinged person when I got off the pill. Yeah, I've talked about this before. I got off the pill once when I was in college after a breakup, because I was like, well, I'm not sexually active. And then, I got really bad acne and I uh, tried to, I tried to, I tried to, I was in a bad place, but I don't know if that had to do with the pill or because I got on a brand new antidepressant. And it, it was, you know, that was a really bad time in my life. 
So that's a little scary, but I don't think, I think it was probably a combination of the birth control and the antidepressant. Um, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I do kind of want to look into um, other methods, other birth control options. You know what? Should I put it on Wajito's list? Research alternate birth control methods. What do you think he would, you think he'd be fine with that? Do I have a peeler? Yes. I'm a genius. Verge. Rinse off fruit juice. Anyway, I don't know. What I know for absolute certain is I'm not getting an IUD. Don't get me wrong. IUDs are probably great. I don't have the pain tolerance for an IUD. I just don't. I know that I don't, so I'm not going to do it. I was there in high school when my friend got an IUD and I watched them do it. Also, seeing the procedure certainly doesn't help with my ability to uh, do that. What's an IUD? Okay. Um, so, it's a form of birth control. It's, uh, it's shaped like a T. It's like a little, like a little boop, just like a little one. Uh, but they put it through your cervix. Um, when you're awake, which hurts like a lot. The only way I would get an IUD is if I found someone who would let me pay them to knock me all the way out. Like, I'm asleep. It's the only way I would do it. It's supposed to feel super uncomfortable. Uncomfortable is not the right word. It's incredibly painful. I watched my friend do it in high school. It is fucked up, okay? <laughs> Don't let me, I'm sorry. Don't let me discourage you from getting an IUD if that's what you wanna do. I have an exceptionally low pain tolerance. It is, it, it's painful and that's not something, I'm not gonna lie to you about that. People tell you it's not, like it, it's painful, it is. But it lasts five years as birth control. So like that's, that's worth it for a lot of people. Sometimes they migrate. Oof. High school, yep. She had to put pills up her vagina to numb her cervix. And then they took a metal rod with the IUD at the top of it and put it up her cervix. Took several attempts. And then afterwards she had like severe cramping. Like she like couldn't walk after. So I don't know. I personally don't understand the point of washing your potatoes if you're gonna peel them. Cause like the inside's not dirty. <laughs> I turned on the wrong burner! No! <laughs> Dang it. 
Why didn't you guys tell me that that burner was bright red? You were like, hey, Maya. You could have been like, hey, but, hey, do that. You could have. Prophetic result for 45 months. Thank you for the 45 months. Oh, okay. These are for mashy potato. Yum. Your fault for not using a gas stove. I'm sorry. Do you want me to, should I just change it out? Shut up. Rinse. My front yard is pretty gnarly, but it also is raining today, so that's why. I got these uh, Brussels sprouts from the farmer's market. Carolyn suggested adding spoiled milk to mashed potatoes. What are you talking about? Who's Carolyn? Caroline? Don't who spam me. The dude wrote Carolyn. C-A-R-O-L-Y-N is what he wrote. I don't know who he was talking about. She put spoiled milk in her potatoes. She banned? Wait, why is... Okay, you know what? I'm just going to stop talking to y'all. Telepathics. Thank you for the sub. Brussels sprouts, Brussels sprouts. Do 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 Brussels sprouts. Bum 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 bum. Little little Brussels sprouts. Deep beep. beep. Have you guys seen the show Why Women Kill? Can I spoil it for you? If you haven't seen it. Because of men? Ding, ding! <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, there's a few storylines in the show, but I'll tell you one of them. Um, there's a woman, and she's with this man, and uh, they had a child, and the uh, gate was left open, and the child ran out into the street. She got hit by a car, and she d died. Um, so then... Uh, they were all... They stayed married... But we're really sad. This is a show. It's not real. Um, the child died. They're really sad. But they stayed together. And then she finds out, like, years later that he's cheating on her with a waitress. And then she becomes friends with the waitress. And then... Uh, oh, my God. How do I actually keep up with all this story? Uh, she becomes friends with the waitress... Then she founds out, finds out he's been cheating on her for a long time with a lot of women. Um, and she talks to one of the women and she, she was like, I was there that day. Uh, you got home early, so I had to run out the back and I left the gate open. And that's why your daughter died. Uh, and the worst part is that he told her, he like yelled at her the night that, that their daughter died because he was like, you left the gate open. Even though the mistress called him and was like, 
like hysterical, like, I'm so sorry, like, I left the gate open. But then he blamed his wife. It was his secretary, actually. Funny that you bring that up. Um, so then, she makes friends with a neighbor also. Um, she makes friends with a neighbor. The neighbor is being abused by her husband. And her husband's like, omega jealous. Uh, and so they fake a note where the neighbor girl is like, I'm going to leave you for this guy, the cheater husband, because he loves me. And then the abusive husband goes to the cheater husband's house and shoots him and kills him. And then both the women are free because the cheater husband is dead, but she didn't do it. And the abusive husband goes to jail for murder forever. Okay, Brussels sprouts, mashed potato. This is my sauce. This needs to cook down in a sauce pot. I need to make the gnocchi. Those are the things that need to happen. Ah! I dropped a cup on my foot. Uh, I want this over here. This is that, you remember when I made that pasta sauce? It was lentil pasta sauce. It has, well, it's a little freezer burned, but it's got red lentils in it. Um, and tomato, it smells really good and it's frozen. It's a vegan bolognese, vegan lentil bolognese. Um, so it's got like carrots, onions, um, tomatoes, red lentils. I'm just gonna cook that down. <laughs> Gonna cook that down in there. I turned on the correct burner. Yes. Gonna make these Brussels sprouts on here. Because, hold on, let's see. Da da, da da, da da, da da, da da, da da, da da. Is that better? Kitchen cam! Wahoo! Okay, I'm gonna put these potatoes in the hot water. I'm scared. I don't like hot water. Too hot. Relax in there. Goodness. I'm going to cover it, I think, because. Oh, actually, I might not have this again. <laughs> That's not the right lid, but that'll do. All right, I need to cook a bus sprouts. Butter. 
butter to cook Brussels sprout. She did do a shove it by accident. Really? Did I? Hi Tyler, welcome to the stream. Thanks for being here. Dog hair. See, I don't like the kitchen cam. I don't like y'all up in my business like that. Don't come for me. really hot really fast I want to season these before they go okay you gotta chill the fuck out actually you're stressing me out No, I already put salt on it. Change my mind. Change my mind. I don't do, do, do. It happens. Salt, pepper, garlic powder. That's it. If I was not vegan, I used to cook Brussels sprouts um, in bacon or with bacon. That was really good, but I wouldn't even eat that. Uh, not being vegan anymore, I just don't eat meat like that anymore. Okay, we're gonna see if we can get the the face of these sprout guys a little crispy. What do you think? Did you guys have any resolutions that you haven't followed through with? Has anybody already fricked up a resolution? Yeah. Yes. Still haven't stopped smoking. Didn't make any. Started drinking on day two of your dry January. Who was it? Someone told me, they are like, I was like, you have any resolutions? And it was a guy, I forget who it was. And he was like, yeah, I'm gonna have a really damp January. I was like, what the hell? <laughs> I was like, what does that mean? Uh, and I guess it was just a joke on saying, people have been saying dry January. He's just gonna drink a lot. And I was like, to each his own. Okay. <laughs> Slothful, thank you for tier one. Um, one of my resolutions was to ride a Cerro more. I rode a Cerro yesterday morning at like 8.30 or so. It was really nice. I rode out and then uh, we went to a field and uh, I let him eat some grass. It was nice. Man, these are like really, those really soaked up that butter. You see that? It's all gone. Goodness gracious. It's 
slurp. Okay, um, I need to make this. How do I make this? Water, salt. Oh my God, it takes two minutes. Two minutes? Should I make it in this pan? This feels less overwhelming. I'm excited, I love gnocchi. I've tried to make it before and I was really bad at it. Just added some oil on today. Your pots and pans are good. Thanks. My mom got them for me when I moved to Texas. She bought me pots and pans. They're cute ones. You still ice skate? Yep. Still ice skating? Get this though. Woo! Steam's hot. Um, yes, I'm still ice skating. Uh, my ice skating lessons, private lesson at the place I was going to before, uh, for an hour, it was a hundred dollars. And if I'm doing it weekly, it's a hundred dollars a week in an ice skating lesson. When like, I don't, I'm not interested in competing at all. So like, at one point I was just like, what, what am I doing? Like, it's fun to do, but why am I spending a hundred dollars a week? Just so like, I, and, and I'm not streaming it, and I'm not taking videos, so it's just like, oh, just so I know this week I jumped a little higher than the last week. Like, is that really enough of a reason <laughs> for me to spend so much money? Um, oh, look at those. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Uh, so I looked at some other ranks, before, I didn't want to do group lessons because I was nervous. Because um, I didn't want to skate around other people because I don't, I, I don't know, I just didn't feel confident enough to do that. Now I feel pretty comfortable on the ice, so I feel like I can skate around people. I found a, uh, a new rink, and when you do like an eight week session or like a however many week session, and you're doing it with a group of people, uh, it's only $25 a session if you sign up for like a long duration and you're doing it in a group. So I went from $100 to $25, so I'm going to start trying that and see how it goes. Maybe I'll make some friends. I don't know. We'll see. But that should be good. Um, and... Man, these Brussels sprouts really frickin' soak up moisture. I went to public skate with all the Alvea staff the other week. It was fun. Guys, watch me learn from my mistakes right now. Cool. Wow! Incredible lack of pain there. My sauce. Beautiful. take a long time to boil, huh? Are you gonna do any vegan baking? I hate baking. I hate measuring stuff and fricking it up. I just don't like it. Kayla likes baking and Kayla's vegan this month too. Kayla and Lindsay are both vegan this month too. 
Uh, so I'm going to start doing uh, streams at Connor and Kayla's house with them on Fridays. Um, we're probably going to do vegan baking Friday evenings. So you can go watch over there too. All right. Turn the heat down on these ones a little bit. Sorry, someone subbed. Pony boy, thank you. Slothful, thank you. Telepathics, thank you. Uh -uh. So yeah, on Connor's channel, Michaela Connor will start doing vegan baking or cooking Friday nights. Should be good. Russell Sprouts rhyme. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> I haven't seen Russell in a while. Was Jeff in my chat when I said that thing about six? I didn't see him say anything. He said he blames you. Okay. Weird. I have this cheese. Let me just aspire. Mm. January 13th. Nice. He said it's dry January. No shot. Jeff is doing dry January. No way. What did you just say? Sunflower Snoopy. I've been watching you since my freshman year of college and now I'm gonna be a graduated girly soon. Are you serious? Oh my God. That's crazy. Congratulations. Thanks for watching that long. Oh my God. Old, not you, me. You're coming up on having 60 month subs. Yeah, that makes no sense. Considering I've only been a streamer for two years. It's a bit impossible. Weevil, thank you for the tier one. Dude. I was talking to Connor yesterday. We were talking about PTO and and stuff. Um, and Connor was like, we were talking about labor laws, PTO, and he was like, yeah, when when we hit the five, we'll need to talk about the five year mark because we're gonna have to put it. And I was like, that's. I was like, what what are you talking about? I was like, why do we need to talk about the five year mark? And he was like, I was in a couple years. And I was like, excuse me. <laughs> We need to talk about that now. You've only been here, you've been here less than a year. And he's like, we've been here over two years. <laughs> uh, what the heck? What the heck? I love Brussels sprouts, but my house smells like Brussels sprouts right now. I'm not super into it. Just gonna say it. All right. We're using these for a little Brussels sprout meals. Brussels sprouts, mashed potato. Thank you for the 12 months. Does it bother you guys when people say their babies are like 64 months old? <laughs> or is that not a thing that people do and I just think they do that? I'm doing really great here. Man, those are loud. 
My quality of life just improved because of the lack of Brussels sprout noise. Cute! Yum. Do you guys like Brussels sprouts? Because that would really stress you out if you didn't. No! No, no, no! <laughs> no, Purse! Dude, I love Brussels sprouts. <gasps> I forgot I was gonna do something with these. I have a pepper and onion and lemon. Well, see if they make it to next week, I suppose. How you guys doing in there? I feel like you're taking too long, but I don't want to be like, uh, you know, annoying about it. I'm going to stab him. Oh, what the hell? Stop. Stop it right now. What the heck? They're fine. Okay, you need to stop cooking. About to get, actually, it's about to get cringe in here. I don't know, overcooking potatoes is kind of like a myth. <laughs> I was gonna, I started saying that and I was like, oh, I'm scared to finish that sentence. Don't get mad. I take it back. You can overcook potatoes? Yeah, you can. They get really like grainy if you overcook them. If you're gonna mash them, they don't need to be as cooked. They need to be as cooked as they can. I think these are, I mean, I'm gonna be pissed if these aren't done because I just, yeah, they're, they're fork tender cooked. My mom always says everything takes 12 minutes to cook. That came from the guy that sent me an E-Rob clip when I asked for a clip of me skateboarding. He linked me the ogre clip. So I don't know what food you grew up on, but I would not take that advice if I were y'all. Naoki, go in there. Two minutes. Every time I cook chicken, it takes 15 minutes or it's raw in the middle. Here's, here's my tip of the day. If you're cooking chicken at home, you cook the shit out of that chicken. You cook it until it's so dry and white everywhere that it's disgusting. That's what happens when I cook chicken at home, which I haven't done in a long time, but in college when I would cook chicken, oh, I cooked the shit out of it because I was so scared of undercooking chicken. Or use a thermometer, oh yeah, me in college, pulling out my meat thermometer and my glass of red wine, what the hell? Gnocchi, go it in. Ah! I dropped gnocchis. I'm just really scared of getting boiling water. <laughs> ah! I hate hot things. That's like way too full. <laughs> I'm scared. Mashy potato, drain. Me dumping potatoes on the sink. <coughs> Don't worry. Surprise. There's a strainer in there. You're the only girl streamer I follow because you actually stand for something positive. <laughs> Look. 
female or not, it's a streamer thing. It's not about women. It's being a streamer that's the problem. It has nothing to do with women. Fuck all the rest of them, though. <laughs> I'm kidding. There's a lot of streamers doing really great things. Okay. Um, I'm gonna make mashed potato now. Oh, I need butter. A lot of it. Just because I'm vegan doesn't need a, doesn't mean I need to eat Mediterranean bowls and cucumber salads every day. I actually I refuse to do that. I want mashed potato. Oat milk. I was really worried about using oat milk as like a dairy alternative for things like this, but so far it has served me very well. So happy with the oat milk situation. I should have put a timer or something on for two. It's just until they float into the top, right? The gnocchi? I feel like it is. Once they start floating, I'm gonna put them in there. Here's one. <laughs> oh, he went away. <laughs> Mash time. Didn't you say it took two minutes? Well, it's said until they, when they float up at the top. Just gifted two tier one subs. Kikalika. Oh, wow. N zero LL zero subbed for the first time. Strange Cyan gifted a tier one sub to N zero LL zero. They have given two gift subs in the channel. Are you guys impressed with the amount of muscle that I have? Be honest. Why are you saying no? They're floating. Thunder is up for 14 months. <laughs> They're cute. Any Neoki fans? I myself am a big fan. One of my last meals prior to being to becoming vegan was a Branzino Neoki. I think Branzino, I guess Branzino is the fish. It was like Neoki and it had a crispy piece of fish on top and a cream sauce, like a white wine sauce. It was so good. Thank you for the two months. Unfortunately, <laughs> this, <laughs> this is funny actually. All right, the, uh, it became a rolling boil. And so the one, I couldn't tell what was floating to the top anymore because it was like cycling through the <laughs> pan. I don't know if you saw that. So they just got strained instead. It's fine. All right. Yeah. Oh, no. Dude, that looks good. Are you kidding me? Having frozen pasta sauce is so OP. You guys got to do that. Or just buy a jar. I don't care. So this is... He's vegan and... He has a lot of protein, because it's lentils. 
Check them out. Oh, you could see it on the other camera. Oh my God, my left wrist is not that strong. Okay, back to mashed potato. Is Lindsay a good cook? I don't know if Lindsay cooks very much. Guys, actually, I'm not gonna tell you about that yet. Potential new 2024 ambassador, but let me get like a little more con uh, confirmation before I start telling you about that. Started up conversations last week. All right, I feel pretty good about how mashy this potato is. Still need to be on. Okay. I need this guy. I need salt. Time to season potatoes. You should whisk it. No. Yeah, we are. We are hoping for vultures. We are. Um, you know, one or two vultures. We've been talking about an old world and a new world vulture. You see that? Um, and we're talking about some other ones, but there's a, a new one that like just came up that I think is gonna happen, but I just need to get a little more confirmation before I tell you all about what it is. I will give you three guesses and I will deny what guesses are not correct. It is not a capybara. It is not a spider, and it is not a penguin. Thank you for your, thank you for playing. You suck at this game. What a rigged game. <laughs> I want more oat milk in there. Oh, I was gonna put uh, the cheese in here. I'm gonna do cheese. Cheese. All of it. That is vegan mozzarella. It says this one melts, and it does. It just doesn't melt like normal cheese. I don't know, how, you'll see. I don't really know how to explain it. Ooh, that's looking way better already. Holy moly, are you kidding me? Happy Halloween. I meant happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> Fake cheese, that's right. Taste test. Potatoes are undercooked. <laughs> no! <laughs> it's not bad. It's not crunchy, but like they're not really smooth, and it's it's because it's because they're undercooked a little bit. The tragedy has struck the tiny house kitchen. Is what it is, you know. Oh my god. Never. You know Nick? The the guy that's been uh, working at Alveus doing like handy stuff? Pickle Nick? Is that his username? Didn't he change it or something? Not Nick Paulum. He 
changed it. Anyway, um, there's a new guy that's been doing like handiwork stuff at Alveus. The neighbor. He's our neighbor. And uh, he asked if I had any trash one day or something. And I was like, yeah, back a Binky Bonky. He's like, what the hell is that? So I had to, it was an accident. I had to tell him that my truck's name was Binky Bonky. And then I asked him if he could put a hook in my desk. He was like, why do you want to put a hook in your desk? And I was like, for sloth. And he was like, for what? You, you want to put a hook in your desk for a, for desk for a sloth? And then I had to show him some sloth. by win, I mean keep people from thinking that you're developmentally stunted. <laughs> is what it is. <laughs> and by what it is, I mean thinks me founding this place was a fluke. <laughs> it's kind of dumb that this has two sections. I don't really want the two sections, but is what it is. <laughs> and by what it, I'm kidding, I'm done. <laughs> One more. All right. Last one. Okay, it's just going on that side. It's fine. That's fine. Feel fine about that. These need to cool off before I put them in the fridge. This needs to go in the sink. Quack. This needs to close. These need to go in the trash. I have an extra mango. I have an extra banana. Wahoo. These need to go in the sink. Weep womp. This needs to be rinsed off before it is the bane of my existence. These don't look that great, but they're gonna taste really good. I need another, oh. Don't worry, it'll be great. These need to cool off, I just said that. All right, easy peasy, one, two, three, four, five, six meals, six lunches. Um, I cook dinner usually, and then do these for lunch, so this should be good. I feel good about that. I have my smoothies. Hooray! Slide. Slide one result for 29 months. Thank you for the 29 months. Um. Jason texted me. I sent him a picture of my bruise. He said, damn, that's gnarly. It's like three or four different bruises all in the exact same spot. How did you even manage to do that? Okay, hater. Check out my bruise. What do you think? It's from kick flipping, you know? <sighs> kick flipping's no joke. We do it all again on Wednesday. Wednesday at 12 o'clock. I know today was a little shorter. I usually go an additional hour. Um, we have a lot of stuff going on at Elvis this weekend that I need to attend to. Um, stolen! Thank you for the five. Thank you so much. Kankles? 
you bitch. I was afraid to post the picture. I posted an extra zoomed in picture because I thought people were gonna shit on me for my ankles being so stupid small. But thanks for giving me a new complex. God, what do yours look like? Imgur. Where is it? Show us your ankle. <laughs> okay. Anyway, um, we have a lot of stuff going on at Alveus this weekend. Uh, potentially some really exciting stuff that you guys will hear about very soon. But it's happening right now. Dude, dude, Corbid, what the fuck? What do you do? <laughs> <laughs> he does this every time. Corbid, thank you for the hundred dollars. Thank you so much. I hope your drug business is going great. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That is crazy. He does it every time. He's crazy. Um... Thank you. Okay. Uh, a lot of exciting things happening at LVS this weekend. I need to go attend to those things. You will find out about those things very soon. We have a couple, potentially, very exciting uh, announcements for LVS within the next, like, few weeks. A uh, couple weeks. Between what's happening right now on site and potential new ambassador. Okay. Mm -hmm. Big stuff. Um, I will see you on Wednesday. What time? 12 o'clock. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 12 o'clock. I'll see you Wednesday at 12 o'clock because I'm going to do a kickflip. I'll see you then for that. See you when I do a kickflip on Wednesday. I heard... <laughs> I heard you call me a hater. I want my prime sub back, bitch. First of all, I'm going to tell your mom that you called me a bitch. <laughs> That's really messed up. Everybody say hi to Jason. I'm gonna call you on Wednesday, if that's okay with you. I don't know what you do. Honestly, I have no idea what you do right now with your life, but I'm gonna call you at 12 o'clock CT on Wednesday. Not then, around there, uh, when I'm doing a kickflip. So you can eat your words. Talk to you then. I'm rating Elvis. GACKED! The YouTube video is getting posted today. There is a YouTube video of mine getting posted today. Go check it out. YouTube video is every Monday. Enjoy. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. 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 Ew, my stove looks dirty. Goodbye. <laughs>